Hello and welcome to Wonderware System Platform 2014 R2. In this video we will be focusing our discussion on Application Server, one of the great products in this release. The Wonderware System Platform 2014 R2 software is already available. Please ensure to contact your local distributor. You can also download an installation package from the Wonderware website. In this video we'll be focusing on highlights of new features within Application Server. Please ensure to watch the entire video as there are links throughout. Although we have provided a lot of valuable features, the release focuses primarily on ease of use. Before we start talking about the software features, I would like to provide a short background on a couple of the actors that represent our typical users. Ray is our simple guy. He's a maintenance technician. No spills is very well, no in touch, but is typically intimidated by application server environment. On the other side of the spectrum is Steve. He's our power user, that system integrator who loves application server and can't wait to get a hold of new versions to sell more faster. Let's now jump into some of the new functionality. We have enhanced our simple guided installation as installing a suite of products can be challenging at times. The user is prompted with installation options depending on whether he's going to be working on a small or a large application environment. If you're managing large or geographically distributed applications, the improved network installation will likely benefit you. You can actually create your own installation bundles by selecting just those components of the software that you need and creating a custom installation package from it. Regardless of whether you relate to Steve or Ray, the object redesign feature will be very attractive to you. In prior releases, each object family had custom configuration parameters, all very powerful but in some cases scattered. In this release, we have enhanced every object by consolidating the capability of defining generic attributes in objects including the exclusive field attributes feature from the user defined object and made it available to every single object in your application. Whether you are adding an internal variable or a reference to an external parameter, such as a tank level in a PLC, all the settings are configured in a single location. The attribute editor has been designed from the ground up with engineering efficiency in mind. Creating attributes is faster than ever before. As you create new attributes, it even remembers the last set of parameters used, so configuration on additional attributes is as easy as just enabling those same features. Duplication of individual or multiple attributes in one operation is also available. Advanced filtering capabilities are also available to search throughout the object. You can search, for example, for any reference of the word valve in any of the parameters within the object, including scripts. You can also change filtering settings to narrow down display criteria. For example, see only those attributes that are alarmed or historized. Let's segue for a moment to users with existing installations. We wanted to ensure that we improve the upgrade experience. Maximizing uptime of running systems is very important to us. During the software upgrade, older versions of applications must be converted to the new version. We included a cleanup and compression process of the Galaxy application to reduce database growth that is incurred during day-to-day -day configuration operations. While upgrading the software, keeping the plant running is very important. We have added support to redundant configurations to allow upgrading one of the pairs while keeping the existing one running. As such, impact to the running environment is almost completely eliminated. Upgrade of a redundant pair is a simple three-step process. First, as usual, the Galaxy repository must be upgraded. Second, you must prepare one of the redundant pairs to be the active running environment by ensuring all engines are active in that platform. You will then upgrade the other standby pair. Third, once upgraded, this redundant pair will become active and you can then upgrade the partner platform. A key component of the software is the platform manager. As a diagnostic tool, it allows the maintenance technician or plant engineer to monitor and visualize states of platforms and engines. We have enhanced its functionality with an ease of use facelift. When you launch the SMC where there are a lot of nodes configured, it is sometimes difficult to identify the local platform. We have added the suffix local to the local platform name so it is easily identifiable in the list. Platform icons now display their running states. Very helpful to help identify whether a platform is running or stopped. We have also added the ability to sort the platforms in various different ways, especially useful in larger applications. The platform remover functionality has also been added to the toolbar. The right pane 
depicting the states of the engines has also been enhanced. Each engine icon displays its current running state. Standard and redundant engines are clearly identified. For redundant engines, you can now fail over an engine right here. That's right, you don't have to create custom applications to perform simple system maintenance. Finally, additional columns with engine and partner status information are provided for great out-of-the-box diagnostics and maintenance functionality. Any system that is engineered properly must also have a good alarm management strategy. This screen depicts an operator that doesn't appear to be paying much attention to the alarm grid even though it seems to have many active alarms. That can be the case in systems where alarm management is poor. In this release, we have delivered additional functionality to assist with better alarm management strategy. For over a year now, we have been promoting the HMI design paradigm of situational awareness. It is very important for an HMI-driven system to be providing the correct information, otherwise the operator stops trusting it. Whether the information is at an overview or detailed level, it is important for the HMI to properly depict areas that can be at an alarm condition. There are cases where field equipment is faulting, causing nuisance alarms. We have added the shelving functionality to the software, allowing the temporary silencing of nuisance alarms that prevent the operator from focusing on actual tasks instead of being distracted by nuisance alarms. The software has been enhanced to add configuration parameters that enable or disable the alarm severities that can be shelved. For example, you may not want to allow operators to shelve a high tank level alarm or a fire alarm. You can also control who can shelve alarms. You may only add those capabilities to certain operators. The alarm clients now have the shelving capability built in. As such, you don't have to create custom implementation to add this functionality. One other important aspect of the alarm management strategy is being able to control when the system actually generates alarms. There will be cases where the system is not in a production or running state. It may be in maintenance mode or factory acceptance testing or the equipment may be offline. States where you may not want to prevent those areas of the system from generating alarms. That is what we call state-based alarming. We have added the capability to configure any number of states that will define whether the equipment mapped to the area generates an alarm or not. With this mapping added to those areas, representing equipment or processes, the system integrator can either configure a user interface to the HMI to manually set the areas to the configured plant states, or can automate the process states to be controlled externally, for example, by batch states. The symbols included in the Situational Awareness Library support the visualization of the shelving operations and plant states out of the box. Enhancements to the software to support geographically distributed applications is another theme in this release. In cases where multiple applications need to communicate to one another, the configuration environment for pairing the galaxies has been improved. The user no longer needs to worry about port management. The software has also been enhanced to manage the communication parameters automatically for all Orchestra services. Reaffirming our theme of ease of use, we have saved one of the most powerful features of this release for last. It combines ease of use and engineering efficiency, a feature tailored to both Ray and Steve. It will change the way they utilize the software. Would you believe me if I told you that now you can connect to PLCs and field controllers without having to configure references? We have created an automatic way to configure those field references to I.O. As always, you should have a goal of what you want to achieve, the intention of modeling physical assets. Most modern controllers nowadays support defining user data types or UDTs. They allow you to create meaningful naming structures that represent the equipment instead of flat registers that used to hold boolean, integer, or other data types. All you really need is a naming strategy that matches the naming scheme between your field devices and your objects representing those field devices. In modeling those physical assets such as pumps, valves, levels, etc., you will just need to match the naming conventions. Application Server provides you with the perfect environment to create such models, 
our hierarchical model also allows you to mimic the same structures of PLCs. Once you have done that, the next step is to map the objects representing the physical assets to the device integration objects that will be communicating to the controllers. Furthermore, you can actually test and validate your configuration prior to deploying your objects to the runtime environment. Think about how much time you can save in factory acceptance testing or troubleshooting efforts. Before we wrap it up, I just want to let you know that the Wonderware System Platform Bundles also contain some additional media. We have consolidated all the different toolkits in one single DVD. Each toolkit contains the latest version as well as all the prior versions of the software. This is very useful for system integrators that may have to support different versions of our software. The DVD is available in the Advanced Development Studio Bundle. The device integration DVD has also been updated in this release. It contains some new offerings. It is included in all the standard Wonderware media bundles. In closing, I believe both Ray and Steve would be delighted with the wealth of features that are included in this release that focus both on ease of use as well as engineering efficiency. This concludes the highlights for application server software portion of the Wonderware System Platform 2014 R2 release. Whether you are new to our software or an existing user, don't delay anymore. Order your copy today. Thanks for watching.